Baby, want to play the game? When my online love interest sent me this message, I was still working overtime in the company. So I could only reply to her, No, I still have to work. How come you have to work at this time? Poor thing. I replied with a bitter face. The supervisor insists, but there is actually nothing to do. She slowly typed a question mark. I was full of complaints and had nowhere to vent. And for a while, I hit the keyboard flying. Today the big boss came to the company, the one I told you I hate last time. Our supervisor forced us to stay and work overtime in order to flatter her, just to show his leadership. Has he lost his mind? My online love interest filled the entire screen with question marks this time. Does your supervisor have a problem with his brain? Is overtime a sign of leadership? Isn't overtime more a reflection of his incompetence? I've never seen such brown dash nosing dot double quotes. That the female boss you hate also has an abnormal brain circuit. Maybe she really likes this. Poor baby, I wanted to continue to complain. That the female boss with an abnormal brain circuit appeared at the office door. She held the phone in one hand. Her fingertips were still tapping on the screen. Her head was slightly lowered. And it looked like she was sending a message to someone. The Hermes crocodile skin bag was casually held in her hand. A white silk shirt, a gray step skirt, plus a pair of stilettos, she exudes an extremely tempting cold beauty. Until she looked up, the look between her eyebrows completely suppressed the coquettishness. The department supervisor David has already ran up. At the same time, I received the latest message from my online love interest. Baby, don't be angry. Do you want to see black silk tonight? I was about to agree. In the quiet office, Willow's lowered voice questioning rang out. Why hasn't everyone left? Working overtime, the supervisor said with a wry smile. Everyone has a very positive work attitude to match their work. I also. Willow interrupted him. Is there work to do or not? At that moment, David was almost sweating from his forehead. There is work to do. Willow directly called the supervisor outside the door. In less than a minute, the supervisor came in dejectedly. With a pale face and listless voice, he announced, Off work. The colleagues looked at each other, quickly packed up and left. When I got home, I habitually connected with my online love interest to play games. Perhaps it was because I had just heard the female boss speak not long ago. I always felt that the voice of my online love interest was a bit like hers. Especially the pauses and stresses in speaking, they are exactly the same. Baby, get in the car, she called me. Oh, I quickly got into the car and tentatively said, Can you say something for me to hear? Say what? Why hasn't everyone left? Say this sentence. She dragged the tone, and each word was like a soft voice coquetting me. I completely gave up the idea of similar voices, if these two are the same person. The sun will have to rise from the west tomorrow. I focused on the game, but my online love interest was relentless. What's wrong? Why do you suddenly want me to say that sentence? I was worn out by her and had to tell the truth. There was a moment when I thought your voice was very similar to that female boss. Your boss who has a special fetish and likes to sexually harass subordinates. Sexual harassment of subordinates is the most bizarre rumor I heard from my colleagues. It is said that Willow wanted to have an affair with Makoto at that time. He refused and resisted to the death, so Willow let him go to the HR department to resign. I couldn't believe it at the time. Willow. The sexy and cold-looking female president had such a fetish behind her back, she was simply a beast in human skin. I suspected that the colleague was lying to me, but as soon as I mentioned it to my online love interest, she told me that there are all kinds of things in the world. There must be some truth to it, right? It takes to two tango. And slowly I was convinced by her. We both hated this female boss because we complained about her together. Baby, how can my voice be like that beast? Her voice was aggrieved, with a bit of stubbornness. You are insulting me. I am angry. I hastily coaxed her. Don't be angry. It's not like it. You've already said it's like. She was unreasonable. I'm going to have my vocal cords cut tomorrow. I don't want to be like her. She made me laugh. So what can make you not angry? Her attitude became co. And she said shyly. You know. I do know. I tentatively called her. Baby. Hum. Sister. Her tone was even heavier. Helm. I used my trump card. Wife, she quickly said. Hehead, I'm not angry anymore. Not to mention not being angry. 
I can feel her joy across the internet. The game went on, until 11 o'clock, I took my pajamas into the bathroom to watch. When I finished taking a bath and washing my hair, my clingy online love interest had already sent me a long string of messages. Baby, I've finished taking a bath, you're so slow. But waiting for you to take a bath is so happy. Today's reminder, we agreed to meet this Saturday. I've already bought the perfume you like, and on the day we meet, I want you to be infatuated with me. Baby, what do you want to see me wear? I've put together a few outfits, you choose the one you like best and I'll wear it for you to see. I opened the pictures she sent, and a drop of water suddenly fell from the end of my hair onto the screen. Then the screen automatically returned to the chat interface. I blinked in confusion and pulled out a tissue to wipe the water on the screen. Unexpectedly, the screen was unusually sensitive at this time, and somehow it spontaneously dialed the other party's video call. I watched as the call was answered. The person on the other side of the video was sitting in front of the camera. Her hair was freshly washed and soft and smooth. Delicate eyebrows and eyes, small nose, moist lips, all her features were beautifully proportioned. Dot dot the only thing that was not good was. This face was exactly the same as the one I had seen in the office not long ago. She is Willow. Realizing this, I hurriedly hung up the video call. Water was still dripping from the ends of my hair, wetting my neck, but I had no time to care. All I could think of was, my online love interest turned out to be my stern boss Willow. This is clearly absurd and ridiculous. But the fact is right in front of me, and I can't help but believe it, I tried to find clues from the past. But the shock of Willow is my online love interest was too great, and I couldn't think of anything else. In my anxiety, I thought of an even more thrilling question. Did she see me, even though it should be okay if she saw me? After all, I haven't had any contact with her in the company. She probably doesn't remember my face. But what if, what if we meet in the company one day, wouldn't I be totally exposed? I was restless and anxious. Willow, who was abruptly hung up on by me, obviously didn't feel good either. She sent a long string of messages. Baby, why did you hang up? Did you press the wrong button? I thought you wanted to see what I look like, that's why I answered. I didn't mean to offend you, baby. Are you satisfied with my looks? I just took a bath, so I might not look that good. I'll send you a few more photos, then a few more pictures came. This is what I usually look like, I should look a little better, right? Baby, do you like it? If I had any hope that maybe I was wrong and my online love interest is not Willow a moment ago, now I have to give up completely. Because the few life photos she sent are definitely Willow herself, in the meeting room, playing golf on the golf course, overlooking the sky garden. Every one of them is her. Every one of them is Willow. I'm freaking out. She seems to be freaking out too, sending a voice message that sounds like crying. Baby, don't ignore me. I'm so scared when you do this. I shivered all over. In the past, I could take her coquettishness as a joke. Now that I know she is the noble and cold Willow, I'm simply goosebumps. How can she be so different? Usually in the company. She is serious and doesn't talk much, but in private, she is so flirty. I typed slowly. Did you see me? She was very excited. I saw you. Super handsome guy. As I was pondering how good it could look with wet hair, she sent another message, but I didn't see it very clearly. I only saw baby's nose and jawline. So tempting. I want to kiss. Did you just wash your hair? You need to blow dry your hair, otherwise you'll catch a cold. I'll be heartbroken. This is really testing my psychological quality. I paused this grueling conversation on the pretext of blow drying my hair. The hair dryer was blowing as I flipped through my chat records with my online love interest. I still couldn't believe that this person was Willow. Maybe it's an impersonation. There seemed to be a lot of people using other people's photos for online dating, so I clicked on my colleague's chat box with a glimmer of hope. Bro, are you in a group with Liu? Could you help me screenshot what her WeChat looks like? The colleague reply. I dare not. There are all big shots in that group. I tempted. I'll bring you breakfast for a week. He was still hesitant. What if I accidentally took a picture of Liu? Then I would be completely done. I raised the stakes. I'll cover lunch too. Only then did he pluck up the courage to send me a screenshot. Liu's avatar. Nickname. 
WeChat ID, and even the region are exactly the same as my online love interest. My online love interest is Willow. Willow is also my online love interest. When I realized this, I finally despaired. At the same time, I was also very frustrated. How dare this person play online dating with the account principal? Willow, who is very bold, sent me a message at this time. It was a few pictures, her outfit change show. Baby, I've changed into the clothes for Saturday. Which one do you think looks better? I suddenly remembered that we were going to meet this Saturday, and today is already Thursday. That means I only have one day, Friday, to clear things up with her. Break up. Must break up immediately. I've cursed her so many times, if she knew about it, I would be done for. Having decided to break up, I started to weigh my words. The reason for the breakup must not be the truth, but if I break up rashly, she will definitely be suspicious. After thinking about it, I decided to use the video call as an excuse. I typed coldly, I don't want to meet anymore. What's wrong? I can feel her caution across the screen. I reply, you're not my type. Willow was anxious. Then what type do you like, baby? Tell me, can I try to change into that type? No. The tip that the other party is typing has been staying at the top of the screen. I felt a bit of pity, but when I thought about Willow, who was sexually harassing her subordinates, I hardened my heart. Let's break up. No. We're not breaking up. I don't agree. She sent one message after another, and when she saw that I didn't reply, she directly dialed a video call. She wouldn't have done this before. She's a very measured person. Even if she wants to make a voice call with me, she would ask me in advance if it's convenient. She was in a hurry, but so was I. I was afraid I couldn't break up, and I was even more afraid that things would be exposed. In desperation, I simply deleted her WeChat. The world was quiet. This is probably the good thing about online dating. As long as you delete the other person's contact information, they can disappear from your life as if they never existed, leaving no trace. The quiet phone was set aside by me. I looked at the dark screen, feeling a bit melancholy. How could this happen? How could my online love interest be the noble and cold willow? She usually curses her with me. Doesn't she realize at all that she's cursing herself? For a moment, I wanted to go through our chat records again, but when I picked up my phone, I remembered that I had deleted her. I lay in bed with my empty phone, closed my eyes, and tried to alleviate the melancholy of breaking up by sleeping, but I couldn't sleep at all. My mind was full of her. I met her in a shooting game. It's like a hero saves the beauty plot. At that time she just started playing, played very poorly, and was often scolded. I made my appearance just in time when she was being scolded by her teammates. I took out the enemy in the dark with a few shots, saved her who was injured, and by the way criticized the teammate who kept spraying dirty words. After the game, she messaged me, can we play together in the future? I coldly refused. No. I thought the fate would end there. Who would have thought there would be a second chance to meet her? She followed me like a little tail. I finally agreed to play with her in the future reluctantly. From meeting in the game to falling in loving reality. Those sweet tasks are not fake. I looked at the ceiling and sigh. How could she become Willow? I didn't sleep well all night. And I was still listless when I got to the company the next day. My colleague Manuel at the next desk was very excited. He slid his chair close to me. Wake up. Liu is here again today. I widened my eyes. Isn't she only coming on Tuesdays and Thursdays? Who knows? Manuel Shrug. It's her company. She can come whenever she wants. But according to Anna from the president's office, Manuel whispered, Liu's face is very bad today. The whole company is on alert. It's best not to provoke her. I nodded cautiously. When he slid his chair away, I couldn't help but wonder if Willow came to the company because of me. Although this sounds a bit arrogant, I'm still worried. Can she recognize me? Probably not, right? I racked my brains to recall our chat history, but it was still hard to judge whether I had revealed myself. At this point, I regretted it. I deleted WeChat too early. It would have been better to just block her. At least if I blocked her, I could still see our chat history. So I can compare the chat history to analyze the possibility of being discovered. This is reasonable and justified. I was on tenterhooks all morning, but nothing happened. I quietly comforted myself not to be too worried, 
and went to the company cafeteria for lunch with my colleagues, and expectedly, Willow was also there. She sat in an excellent position on the second floor, propping her chin with one hand, overlooking the entire dining area. Like looking for someone, more like looking for me, I instinctively hid behind Manuel, hiding the lower half of my face that she had seen last night for fear of being recognized by her. Manuel looked puzzled. What's wrong? I made an excuse. Headache. Can't blow the wind. Although Manuel found it strange, he didn't say anything more. I kept my head down all the time, only wishing Willow to see the top of my head. I thought I would be safe, but during the meal, every colleague's phone received an email from the president's office about the survey of ineffective overtime. Colleagues whispered that the department leader's formal overtime behavior yesterday might have angered Liu, and they all clicked the link to fill out the questionnaire. I followed suit, filled in my name and department truthfully. The questionnaire jumped to the interface. My eyes instantly locked on the question that was unrelated to the content of the questionnaire, but had to be filled out. The name of the shooting game account. The colleagues around me were very puzzled, wondering why this also needs to be filled out. But I was scared into a cold sweat by this question. I thought, Willow knows. Turns out she's really that sharp, with just a few words. She has judged that I am in her company and wants to take this opportunity to lure me out. I took a deep breath and forced myself to calm down. I randomly made up a game account, randomly selected a few answers, and submitted the questionnaire. There was a nosy crowd around. I quietly comforted myself not to be nervous. Willow still doesn't know who I am now, at least I can drag it for a while. I ate nervously with such hopes, after lunch break. Anna from the president's office sent me a message. George, come up. Liu is looking for you. I was speechless. At this moment, my hanging heart finally died. Although I knew that things might have been revealed, I still wanted to struggle a bit. Before leaving, I put on a mask. Anna was waiting for me by the elevator. She was stunned when she saw me wearing a mask. Are you having a cold? I nodded. It's not good if I pass it on to Liu. That's true. She led me all the way to the door of the president's office. I tried several times to pro what was going on through her expression, but she just gave me a helpless look. I slumped in disappointment. She comforted me. Maybe it's a good thing. I thought with a bitter face, what good thing could make Willow come to me? She is looking for me. There is only one possibility. That is online dating. I sorted out my depressed mood, thinking that it's nothing more than resignation and relievedly pushed open that door. Inside the room, Willow was making tea. Her coat was casually thrown on the armrest of the sofa. She rolled up her sleeves and buttoned her collar and leisurely played with the white jade-like teacup in her hand. Suddenly, she looked up at me, her eyes slightly stagnant. Why are you wearing a mask? I pretended to cough. I have a bit of a cold. Just right. She held up the teacup. Chenpi moisturizes the lungs. Have a try. For a moment, I couldn't tell whether she was pretending or not. I cautiously asked, Does President Liu have something to find me? She leisurely put down the teacup. George, I heard that you are quite popular in your department. I answered conservatively, It's okay. Can you help me clarify a rumor? Willow looked at me leisurely. Being stared at like this, I inexplicably felt that she could see through me. I subconsciously touched the mask on my face. It's still there. Fortunately, I asked, what rumors? She hesitated and said, it's quite funny when I say it. It's just that someone said that I sexually harassed male subordinates. There seems to be a misunderstanding about me in your department. Wakoto's resignation was not caused by me. She threw her phone in front of me. If you don't believe me, you can ask him. Anyway, I'm quite wronged by this. On the other end of the phone was Makoto, whom I hadn't seen for a long time. He was speechless and clarify, saying that he and Willow were cousins, and he left because he wanted to start his own business, and that colleague saw him having dinner with Willow, and maliciously rumored that Willow had a hidden rule with Makoto and left in anger. I awkwardly hung up the phone. Willow was drinking tea again, she said. The rumor monger has been fired by me, he told me that he only told you about this, so I don't know how many people you have told about this, but since you didn't mean it, I hope you can restore my innocence, I thought. I only told one person about this, that is my online dating partner, the person in front of me. Willow asked, can this be done? Yes, 
I answered awkwardly. The uneasiness before entering the office was gradually smoothed out by this inexplicable conversation. I thought, Willow probably doesn't know who I am yet. She just guessed that her online dating partner is in our department, but who exactly? She needs further research. She found me, just wanted me to help her clarify the rumors. I quietly relieve, that's good. Then at a WeChat, she suddenly said, I widened my eyes, what? She smiled, don't I have the right to know your work progress? Yes, yes. In a hurry, I quickly lobbed into my WeChat subaccount and scanned the code to add Willow's WeChat. Looking at the familiar avatar reappearing in the dialog box, I felt indescribable for a while. Willow also stared at my subaccount avatar for a few seconds, finally smiled and said, it's pretty good, you go to work. The day passed smoothly dot dot at night, I lay on the bed, staring blankly at Willow's avatar in the dialog box. If the video call accident didn't happen, what would we chat about? Chat about meeting in person, after all, we are going to meet tomorrow. She will repeatedly inform me of the time and place of our date tomorrow. She will nervously repeat what she will wear tomorrow, what we will eat tomorrow, and what we will do together tomorrow. She would show me how excited she is with her actions. More cheesily, she would say, she wants to kiss me until I faint when we meet tomorrow. I was immersed in this beautiful fantasy, suddenly defeated by the cold reality. She is Willow. Even if she is no longer the bad boss, she is still my boss. Rather than being panic, when I found out the truth at the moment of meeting in person, it would be better to break up early due to this video accident. I silently chanted that it's better to break up early, and decisively threw my phone away and went to sleep. I slept until half past ten. This is the time we agreed to meet. I don't plan to keep the appointment, and I'm bored with my phone. Suddenly, Willow updated her moments of WeChat. The picture is a table and two chairs, she captioned, waiting for you. I couldn't help muttering, waiting for me to do what? We've clearly broken up, why go to meet in person alone? I threw away my phone, trying to let go, it has nothing to do with me. The person she's waiting for is not me, don't care. But even if I deny it, Willow's moments still stirred up waves in my heart while brushing my teeth. I couldn't help but take out my phone, I refreshed Willow's latest status again. The picture is two cups of coffee, she ordered my favorite walnut brownie latte from me, she captioned, I hope you will come. I threw away my phone like an electric shock, reaffirming to myself in the mirror. I won't go. I don't want to go. I don't want to walk into the trap. I didn't pick up my phone again until I finished breakfast. Until the WeChat ringtone suddenly rang, I subconsciously thought it was Willow who called, and I was quite flustered for a while. The ringing sound again and again is like a death knell. I plucked up the courage to pick up the phone, but the person on the other end was my colleague. Manuel. He was super excited. Big news. Want to hear it. What? President Liu updated her moments. And she updated several in a row. She seems to be waiting for someone. Is she going to fall in love? He also sent me screenshots of those moments. I was quite stunned. I don't know why, but I subconsciously thought that Willow's moments were only visible to me. Turns out it's not. Turns out she generously shared them with everyone. Now everyone in the group is discussing this, I don't know who is so honored to have President Liu waiting for. God, could it be that President Liu really has feelings for someone? I couldn't keep up with his gossip, I was still entangled with the moments. I just added Willow with my sub-account, she doesn't know who I am, so naturally she won't set her moments to only visible to me. But vaguely, I want her to know, what am I doing? I had planned to escape, but now I want to take the initiative to approach. I still want to go, right? Otherwise, why would I have the whim to iron my shirt last night, and why would I pick out the limited edition sneakers that I usually don't want to wear from the shoe cabinet? I looked at myself in the mirror, repeatedly confirming my intentions. I thought about it, anyway, if I go, it's not a big deal to say that I just want to see who President Liu is waiting for. So I sighed with resentment, I quickly got ready went out and kept the appointment. The destination of the taxi is the garden restaurant in the city center. Thanks to Willow's repeated reminders of her date arrangements, even without her reminders, I had long memorized the location of the date with ease, but the next second, I swiped to her latest moments. She wrote, I know you are on the way, be brave. 
don't turn back. I suddenly understood the purpose of Willow's moments, I went back to check her previous moments, sure enough, the pictures before were not the garden restaurant in the city center, but the coffee shop next to the company. She never mentioned where she was waiting in her moments, only I knew the real destination, she was fishing me, and I stupidly took the bait, looking at the retreating street scene on both sides of the road, I thought, if I'm hooked, I'm hooked. Sooner or later this day will come, rather than being on tenterhooks hooks in the company. It's better to take this opportunity to clarify everything. The garden restaurant is membership-based, with a high threshold. I was originally worried about being stopped outside, but as soon as I got out of the taxi, a waiter respectfully greeted me. Mr. George, I will lead you there. I thought. So Willow knew all along. When was it? When I entered her office, or when I added her on WeChat. The waiter led me all the way to Willow's private room. This is probably the best private room in the whole restaurant. The scenery is beautiful everywhere you look. Except for Willow who is in it, she was surprisingly wearing the custom suit that she only wore to work, a shirt and a skirt. Quite rigorous, which scared me and I almost called her President Liu. I couldn't help but mutter. Didn't she say she had prepared several outfits for the date? Why didn't she wear any of them? Willow stood up to greet me, poured tea for me attentively, and asked, Is your cold better? You know perfectly well that my cold was a lie. As soon as the words came out, I regretted it, I seemed to be too casual. For a moment, I treated her as an online dating partner, that the person in front of me is clearly President Liu. No matter how attentive she is, she's still President Liu. Willow just laughed, I thought I had to play along with your act. So it was her acting in the office yesterday. I couldn't help but ask, when did you find out about me? The night we broke up, I was shocked, so early. Willow picked up the teacup and explained to me. You said you wanted to break up. I was indeed very sad. Especially since you deleted me directly, I was depressed for a long time. I thought to myself, this should not be considered a long time. But I soon noticed something was wrong. She looked at me and said, it was your attitude. After you saw my face in the video, you not only panicked and hung up, but you were also particularly cold to me. She took a sip of tea and continued. At that time, I thought, you must know me, maybe even dislike me. Then I thought of the invalid over time incident you complained to me in the evening, she said. Although I don't have a history of sexually harassing male subordinates, when I connected a few things you told me before, I accidentally found that this could match up with me. I guessed you are an employee of my company, in David's department, you are George. Wait, wait, wait. I interrupted her, how did you guess that I am George? I thought she could only locate the department, after all, it was him who asked us to work overtime that day, and was sarcastically criticized by Willow. This step took some time, Willow said, I didn't see your face clearly, but I've heard your voice many times. So I pulled up the meeting videos of your department and quickly locked the target on you. Perhaps it was so absurd that I actually wanted to applaud. How sharp this person is. Why not be a detective? I went through our chat history for a long time. You dislike me for several reasons. Arrogance, rudeness, and high-handedness, she said. But all of this is based on your assumption that I sexually harassed my subordinates. Now that you know I didn't harass him, do you still think I'm arrogant and rude? I was stunned, this is indeed caused by prejudice. Perhaps when you dislike someone, even a tiny thing will be magnified infinitely in your heart, but it's hard for me to articulate my current view of her. The inherent impression is quite deep. I can't completely separate her from the past president Liu at this moment. Baby, she sniffled, looking pitiful, I'm super wronged. I was so scared that I could hardly hold the teacup steady. If I couldn't see the person and only heard the voice, I would think this was my online dating partner acting coquettishly and wanting me to coax her. But the key at the moment is, I have seen the person. The person making this sound is still the serious and proper Willow at work. What is she trying to do? I stuttered. You. You don't do this. What's wrong with me doing this? She made a sound that I had only heard in the headphones, complaining. You believed in others' slander. Misunderstood me. And now you want to break up with me because of the misunderstanding. Don't I have the right to feel wronged? I really can't handle it. I pursed my lips. I didn't know what to say for a moment, Willow said. 
Baby, I originally thought this rumor was too ridiculous, so I never thought about dealing with it. But I didn't expect things to turn out like this, I didn't expect it either. It's like a butterfly gently flapping its wings, triggering this huge tsunami between Willow and me. Can we not break up? She pleaded, in theory. Now that the misunderstanding has been cleared up, we shouldn't break up anymore. But if I really date Willow, I feel something is strange. She is President Liu. Willow saw my hesitation, didn't force it, and whispered, Can you add me back on WeChat then? She looked pitiful, I miss you so much. I can't sleep without chatting with you before bed. I thought of the tossing and turning of these two days, and I was also suffering. I picked up my phone and scanned her WeChat with my main account again. That day's meeting, it can't be said to be a success, nor can it be said to be a failure. It's just that the company has been circulating the legend of Willow. She posted eight moments in a row. Did she get to see the person she wanted to wait for? Monday at work, colleagues are still eagerly discussing this matter. Manuel at the next table was particularly excited and came to gossip with me. President Liu came to the company again today. Will she come to work here five days a week from now on? I thought to myself, very likely, after all. She messaged me last night. I love the feeling of working with baby. Probably not on Wednesday. She has a meeting at the headquarters, Manuel said. I heard that Director Liu intends to gradually hand over to her. And several branches are in her hands. She probably won't just stay here. I went along with it. Maybe, he was dissatisfied and slapped my butt hard. Why are you so perfunctory? I was helpless. I just thought of an old affair. During the online dating phase, Willow complained to me that her father was making pancakes. The pancakes were not coming over, and he casually threw a few doughs for her to practice. Turns out, the dough was the company. I was just complaining about how this person can talk nonsense, and the person I was complaining about walked past me in a gloomy manner. I was startled. Her gaze drifted over Manuel and me, and then she entered the office of the new department leader at the end of the large office. Manuel immediately let go, why do I feel that President Liu looked at me? And her eyes were quite unkind. Is she going to fire me? He panicked. I finally got rid of the annoying David. I don't want to leave. I hurriedly comforted him. No, don't overthink it. The message from Willow seemed to confirm that he really didn't overthink it. Why can he slap your butt? I could feel her resentment even across the screen. I haven't even slapped it to prevent Manuel from being fired. I had to appease her. I'll let you slap. You can slap however you want. When? Let's do it at noon today. She took the opportunity to extend an invitation. I brought you lunch. Come up and eat with me. I hesitated. Isn't it a good idea? I made it myself. Willow has a way to deal with me. Don't you want to taste my cooking? You said you wanted to eat it before. I struggled to type OK. Willow is indeed a good cook. And she makes all the dishes I love. It's just that the dining location is in her office and just a glance can easily cause indigestion, I silently lowered my head to eat. She suddenly said, I'm going to slap your butt. I was stunned. She rubbed her fingertips uncomfortably and said confidently, you promised me. I gradually got used to her childish behavior and took the initiative to move my body closer. You slap it. One second, two seconds, a full five seconds passed. Willow didn't move. I turned around in confusion but her hand just slapped out and landed in a place it shouldn't have. The air was silent all of a sudden. I blinked gently. I saw her already standing up, her face flushed to the roots of her ears. Aunt hurriedly left a sentence. I suddenly remembered that there is still some work. Then she went straight into the inner restroom. When Willow came out again, I had almost finished my meal. She probably washed her face. The broken hair on her forehead was still wet, and her eyes were wet, but her face was very red, even redder than when she went in. She sat down on the coffee table in front of me, stared at me with a look that was not seductive but better than seductive, and asked, how long will it take for you to adapt? I instantly understood what she wanted to say we talked about it when we parted on Saturday. She still wants to be in a relationship with me. I don't want to. The reason I gave is that I find it hard to adapt to the change in her identity. She agreed to give me time to adapt, I just didn't expect the time to be so short, so short that I wasn't mentally prepared yet. I lowered my head and expressed my inner concerns. It always feels strange to date the boss. Then don't treat me as the boss, what should I treat you as? Girlfriend. She was silent for two seconds, 
and then said, even as your cat is fine. This is really hard to adapt to. It's reasonable for an online dating partner to say such things. But it's outrageous for the gorgeous President Liu to say such things. I begged for mercy. Give me some more time. Okay, she agreed readily, and then said, Wait for me to wash the lunchbox, and I'll listen to your answer. After speaking, she picked up the empty lunchbox on the table and left. I thought it was too fast and hurriedly stopped her. She stopped and whispered, Baby, in front of you, I'm never President Liu. I was stunned and let her go. Willow washes dishes very quickly, at least much faster than she washes her face. She eagerly squatted in front of me, longing for an answer. What else could the answer be? It's not that I don't like her. I said softly, we can try. She smiled and kissed my shoulder. Baby is so wise, I also think so. I shrank my shoulders and looked at her. Why kiss here? To fulfill the promise, she said. Who was it that originally wanted me to kiss him all over his body? I immediately thought of the grandiose words I had uttered during the chat. I was just bragging, it doesn't count, I said embarrassingly. But I took it seriously. Willow stood up straight and kissed my other shoulder. Let's stop here for today, she whispered in my ear. Baby, you also need to adapt this slowly. As I walked out of the president's office in a daze, I remembered to instruct. Don't let anyone in the company know about us dating. She lazily typed, yes, sir. On the third day of dating Willow, I'm stunned. Mainly because she is too clingy. She almost sends me a message as soon as she has time. And I can't not reply to her, frequently opening the chat box with her. Inevitably, there are times when colleagues notice Manuela the next table noticed. He was surprised. The avatar of your chat partner is the same as President Liu. I panicked and wanted to close the chat box immediately, but I was afraid that it would be too conspicuous. So I braced myself to answer, ha ha. Really? Yes. He saw the no clearly, puzzled. What is this little you for? I bluffed like Willow, a pancake vendor. Is it good? It's okay. Then bring me a portion tomorrow. Okay. That's how this nerve-wracking conversation ended. But after this battle, I dare not casually open Willow's chat box. Willow, who was ignored by me, was restless. She was in a meeting at the headquarters, and she sent me 23 unread messages. I still ignored her and focused on work. At the end of work, Willow called me. Baby, do you want to play games later? I don't want to. I have to work overtime. She paused. Does your new supervisor also like this set of ineffective overtime? I hurriedly said, I really have to work overtime. I haven't finished my work. It's all your fault. I complained in a low voice. She laughed and said, Then I'll come to the company to work overtime with you. I looked up at the surroundings, and most of my colleagues had already left. I estimated that when Willow arrived, most of the people around would have left. So I agreed with confidence, You come. When Willow came, she brought me a portion of traditional small wantons. I deliberately nitpicked, Is this your employee's overtime meal? She smiled and kissed my face. You eat this first, and I will take you to eat something delicious later. Where is the time to eat? Before I finished speaking, she had already squeezed and sat on my lap, and the large seat suddenly seemed cramped. I was stunned. What are you doing? Helping you with overtime, she said comfortably. Didn't you say it's all my fault? Then of course, have to make up for my mistake. The scene was so absurd that I subconsciously said, You can underestimate me. She glanced at the computer, then at the files next to her and said confidently, I can really do this. I stared at her operation with half belief and half doubt. Unexpectedly, she was really good at it, and I was so surprised that I swallowed to wantons directly. Halfway through the overtime work for me, President Liu acted coquettishly. Baby, I'm also hungry. I sent the spoon and bowl to her. Then you eat too. Feed me, she said. Forget it. I've kissed her anyway, thinking this way. I dug a wanton and sent it to her mouth. She opened her mouth and ate it. Just like this, one by one. By the time the wantons were finished, the overtime work was also coming to an end. Willow turned off the computer and looked at me proudly. What do you say now? I sincerely praised. That's amazing. I want a reward, she said straightforwardly. I'll treat you to dinner later. I'm not short of money. Then what are you short of? Short of boyfriend's kisses. There was no way. I had to give her the much-needed kiss as a beaufriend. Willow's kiss is obviously different from the kiss I understand, 
When I was about to retreat, she put her hands around my neck and also put my hand on her waist, slowly deepening the kiss. The wanton flavored kiss. So strange, I patted her head to signal her to let go. But suddenly, a scream came from the silent and empty office. We separated in panic and saw a person standing at the office door, holding a bag in his hand. It was a department colleague who had returned. She had a ghost-like expression on her face, kept saying, President Liu, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Then she fled in panic. The room was quiet for a few seconds. Willow licked the saliva around my lips clean and asked uncertainly, What should we do now? Let's public it, I said. Even if we don't go public, according to the speed of gossip spreading, by the time I come to work tomorrow, the whole company probably knows. Willow responded with those two words again. Yes, sir. So after the eight WeChat moments, Willow posted another WeChat moment. The photo was of my workstation. The most conspicuous place was my work badge, which had my name, department, and ID photo on it. She captioned it. I've waited. She looked satisfied, but I was frowning. Thinking about the gossip storm that I might encounter tomorrow. I feel dizzy. Why isn't today Friday? Willow discussed with me. Or, do you want to work in my office tomorrow? I'd rather be gossiped to death here. I reiterated grumpily. Rather than go into your office and being kissed to death by you. She chuckled. Suddenly she raises her head, her nose touching mine. I was surprised at her sudden kiss, but she said, still breathing, not yet kissed to death by me. Childish. She laughed and took my hand, shaking it. Let's go. I'll take you to a big meal.